Uh, pues antes, cuando empezamos a venir aquí, entre toda la familia de mi esposa, este, hicimos la, la casa de, de madera. Entonces ya supimos de, de las casas por Cristo. Investigamos. Eh, por medio de Dios usó al pastor Gedeón para comunicarnos con ustedes. Y él, estuve, él fue como quien dice, y más bien fue el intermediario. So he said when he first arrived here with his wife, they had this house just made of wood, the, the wooden house that you saw in the front that just was in very, very poor condition. He said we really struggled to make something better and he wanted to make something better. They just didn't have the financial resources to do so. And then he said, I heard about Hakas for Cristo. I asked Pastor Hedeon about the process of receiving a house. And he said he was the person that was that went in between for us and made this happen for us. And he said also we prayed and prayed for a house and it felt like we were waiting for a long time. Um, and then at one point, Pastor Hedeon gave us the news that in three months we would receive our house. He said there were like 70 or 80 people families in front of us waiting but he said for some reason God put us first and put us at the top of the list and we received we received our home he said it was an answer to prayer it was because he believes the prayers that they lifted up to God in asking for this house and he said God touched the hearts of all of you to be able to make this possible and our lives have changed physically financially and spiritually just in every way completely um, has changed and he is just really grateful to all of you for having made this possible. You've seen how they've added on. They received the bathroom that you all donated for. We had our bathroom person build it. They put nice tile on the floor. They've connected this house to the house they were living in in the front um, where they were living before. They put some insulation. They really connected it really nicely so now they have a large, large space. There's eight of them living here they told me and all of them want to sleep in this part of the house because it's just better condition, better climate in here in the winter and in the summer both. Um, but he said it's just a great answer to prayer and they're really grateful for the help that God could provide through all of you. Pues como le vuelvo a decir, fue una bendición ¿verdad? de Dios, pero nos sentimos alegres porque traíamos una carga. ¿verdad? Dice la palabra de Dios que Dios no, no, no nos da una carga que no podamos cargar. Entonces cuando ya nos dieron, nos dijeron que habían terminado, nos dieron la llave, sentimos una emoción y una alegría, tanto espiritual como físicamente, y nos sentimos como alivianos. Y pues gracias a Dios y a los grupos que vinieron. He said they were really happy to receive the keys. He said physically and spiritually, it's just a life change, a great blessing. And he said, we were just really excited to receive the keys to our home. And he said, God, the Bible says that God doesn't give us things unless we can take care of them. He said, we're now in charge of this house and we feel like we need to take care of this house because God gave us this blessing. And now it's ours to, to keep well and to take care of well, which they've definitely done. They've put a lot of work into this. Um, he just said, we're thankful again to this group that would come. We just want to say thank you. And we're very grateful to all of you. Pues que Dios siga usándolos, nos siga bendiciendo y supliendo todo lo material y pues monetariamente para que sigan bendiciendo y ayudando a la gente en el estado. Porque es, es este una, es una, como le quiero decir, como decimos va, es una liviane de la carga que trae uno por, por, por querer superar. Y Dios pone los medios, tanto material, física, monetariamente y el corazón de ustedes para seguir ayudando a la gente en esta. Y le damos gracias a Dios por ustedes y que Dios siga usando el pastor que de hoy como intermediario para bendición de, de la gente como nosotros. Nosotros estamos muy bendecidos, gracias a Dios. He said, we are just really blessed and we want to thank all of you again. Um, he said, God just gives us blessings in so many different ways and he supplies our needs. He, he lifts um, the burden that's on us 
and he said for them they definitely had a burden of paying rent and financial um, just that burden but God lifted that weight off of them and he said may you continue to bless and help families may God provide for you the material things that you need the resources and finances that you need to be able to continue helping other families in this way may God bless you and keep you and supply your needs and allow you to continue to be a blessing we have been really blessed it's completely changed our lives and we just want to say thank you again Tenemos como tres años creo de conocernos y nuestra relación ha sido de, de amistad, muy, muy buena relación con la familia, gracias a Dios. Ah, lamentablemente la familia por ocupaciones, por debido a la comunidad, no han podido venir a la iglesia. Pero en otro tiempo sí, sí vinieron y ahora platicando con la familia me dicen que ya van a empezar a asistir a la iglesia periódicamente. So he's known this family about three years. He said they have a good friendship, a good relationship, um, the, uh, the family with him. And he said that they have attended his church and then right now they're not, but they hope to again soon. The situation, um, Emilio told us earlier, is he is on a committee in this Colonia of Juanita Luna that meets together, they meet every Sunday, but they're talking about how to bring water to this part of the city and to have better electricity and to have better sewage and drainage systems. So you all saw, and I think you all understand the need that they have for that in this part of town. But he's hoping that that, that committee will change the day that they meet so that they can attend church. They really do want to attend his church, but they're also involved with that is why they're not attending right now, but hopefully they are in the future. Pues gracias a Dios por la familia que vive en esta casa nueva, eh, a través de, de, de este testimonio, algunas familias también han venido a la iglesia. Creo que están asistiendo aquí con el hermano Joe Gutiérrez. Eh, esta colonia sí está un poco distante de donde está nuestra iglesia. So he said, this house has been a great testimony to this area. And he said, there have been families that have come um, asking for a house. He said, most of them have attended the church of Joe Gutierrez, who is a pastor we also work with here in Sol Poniente, which makes sense. He wasn't on our committee when this house was built, but now uh, his church is closed and he partners with us. And these families can now attend his church more. So there has been a change. Um, but we appreciate the church growth and just the testimony that these houses have been in this in this area of town. Pienso que la señora Griselda que residió en la casa, ella estuvo asistiendo mucho tiempo conmigo. Ahora creo que viene con el pastor John Gutiérrez y Abril también que tiene una casita en esta comunidad. Estuvo viniendo conmigo, ahora pienso que está con el pastor de Gutiérrez. ¿sí? Pienso que sí ha habido buenos resultados. ¿sí? He said, I really think there have been good results and good fruit from this house being built. Griselda and April um, were women that came to him asking for houses and first started congregating at his church, but now church, uh, go to the church that's in this colonia, so closer uh, with that Pastor Joe that we talked about. And he said, I, I do believe they were fruit of this house being built and the testimony that this house had in this neighborhood.